let's see. I think it's there. Hang on, guys. I'm going to get it. Um, but there's not a single relationship that can't benefit from this. And it has been incredible. When you lay down at night, instead of getting on your phones, or he and I both have Nintendo Switches, instead of playing on our Nintendo Switches, we will get the game out and start talking to each other, right? Until, uh, there you are. Pillow Talk and Company. Hi, Tunisia. Hi, Hi, Sherry. We got it. Yay! Yay! Sorry, I don't go live very often at all, and I'm super new to it, so I'm so, so sorry. It's okay. No, I'm so glad. We just kept on sending messages, so people were helping us out. Thank you to the person that, where did the card go that I pulled out? Let's see. Okay, so we were just about to, I know you've probably been watching and freaking out, but we were just about to go ahead and answer the question, but before we do that, was there something that you guys wanted to say? Yeah, we just kind of wanted to first kind of introduce, um, I guess, ourselves and then kind of talk a little bit more about how you guys have partnered with us to create your own deck. Um, so I'll let kind of Christian get started and then we'll dive into the questions as well. Perfect. Yeah. So thanks to you guys for, for joining us and, and coming on. So my name is Christian and this is Bella. We're the founders of Pillow Talking Co. And we kind of just wanted to brief everyone a little bit in terms of our partnership with Rebecca and Zied and let everyone know that, you know, we created this partnership as a way for them to be able to kind of give a little insight into how they created their connection with each other. Um, and at the same time, give you guys all the opportunity to take those cards and those conversations and apply it into your relationship. Um, so it's not just you're seeing the conversations that Rebecca and Zied use in their relationship, but they're actually kind of general so that you guys can take those same questions and build a relation, a connect, a deeper connection with your significant others. Yeah. Um, and I want to say, if you're not sure what this is, keep watching because I promise if you're in a relationship or you might be in a relationship soon, these things are amazing. So we, we definitely want to um, share what this is and we'll be going through some of the questions too. So y'all stay, stay tuned. Yeah. We're going to dive into a couple of the questions that Rebecca and Zied created themselves, but, uh, how it all started for us was Bella and I were an engaged couple. And at the start of the pandemic, we were actually working from home side by side all day long, which was not typical. I'm sure many of you have experienced the same things. And by the time we got in bed at night, we would just slowly start to disconnect and engage more in TikTok and Instagram than we would with each other until one night we put the phones away when we got in bed and had a conversation. And then four hours later at the end, Bella goes, babe, I love this pillow talk. And I said, what the hell is pillow talk? I had no clue what it meant. And uh, so I woke up the next day with the idea to store conversation starters in the back of a pillow so that when we got in bed at nighttime, we had the ability to put down our phones and talk about a question that we normally wouldn't talk about on an everyday basis in order to build a connection. And, and so these cards, I'm telling you, no matter what you think you know about your partner, there are... 75% of these questions you would never think of on your own. Most likely. Anyway, I know that that's how we came across it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and I think too, right? Like you have these questions. They're not like, what's your favorite, your favorite color. They're not yeah. what's your favorite food, but they're questions that like, like you said, kind of, they almost stun you when you first read yeah. them because you're like, Whoa, I, I've never thought about that. So it really is to just help. I mean, you can do this with your loved ones or somebody you've known for years and still learn something new about someone. Um, and I think you and Ziad also created such wonderful questions that you have talked about in your relationship that has deepened your connection in some way or another. And yeah. um, and so we're excited to dive into those. And I don't know if yeah. you want to get started on. Yeah, so let's get started. So, Rebecca, do you do you have questions in your pillow that we can kind of pull one out? or? Yeah, I've, I've got the one we were just about to read. But I, I saw somebody's um, question. And I kind of have a question about this, too. So um, someone was asking, is there something for a pillow uh, for a mother or a father and a child? So actually, when I was younger, um, when my kids were younger, I had notebooks. I had three kids and I had three little five by seven notebooks and we called them what I forget what we called them. It wasn't pillow talk, but 
they were just little journals, dream journals or whatever. So I would write a sweet note inside each one of them during the day and put it under their pillow before they went to bed. They would read it and then they would write something back to me and leave it under their pillow. They would go to school when I would go in to clean up their rooms or make their beds. I would pull it out and it, I wish I would give anything in the world to have those now. I don't know what happened to them, but this is something very much like that. So yeah. I'm wondering what, because I haven't been thinking about it in that way. What, um, okay, here's a good one. Oh. <laughs> it's a new brace, so it fell. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Okay, I'll hold it like this while he fixes it. Yeah. Um, the one that I just grabbed is, what do you hope to accomplish this month? Mm. Um, what is something we want to accomplish together? So there's a lot of, and here's a great one, alternate sharing five things you love about each other. So you can totally do that with a, with a parent and a child. There's a lot yeah. of things that would so, work like that. And we also, as it relates to like parents and children and family, so... We have three different lines of cards right now. The pillow talk is for couples. And then mm -hmm. under pillow talk, we, you have you and Zied's deck. Um, and then we have a line called couch talk, which is specific for family conversations. Yep. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so that see? is, a yeah, okay. that's a little bit more geared towards when you're with your family or just your parents or even, even I mean, younger children as well. They're all very family yeah. relevant. Um, and so, yeah, couch talk. And then our last one is the talk dirty to me, which is for couples to connect through intimacy as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there are multiple decks and one for families too. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um, so the card that we pulled up. Hold on, Rebecca, you, your finger might be over the microphone. We can't hear you. Um, there we go. Tripod thing that holds my iPad, but it doesn't hold it tight enough, and so <laughs> we thought we had it and it fell. So sorry for <laughs> no, it's okay. That's no worries. <laughs> Did I mute myself or no? No, no, your now? finger might have been over the okay. button. Somebody just asked me that. Um. So, oh no, I've lost the one that we were gonna do. Okay, I'll just grab. Yeah, no worries, one. Rebecca. We have the pillow. We have the pillow right here, so we can actually show the functionality of it and pull out one of the cards as well. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. So Rebecca was just about to show you guys how to use the pillow. So the pillow design that Rebecca and Zed chose were our souls have collided, um, and so when you turn the pillow around, there's a, a two pouch zipper pocket in the back of the pillow that allows you to store conversation cards in the back. So if you show back here, you can pull a card out. So the convenience is that it lays on your, it stays on your bed or your couch so that when you get in bed at night or on the couch at night, you have the convenience to just pull a card out of the back of the pillow. Um, and so I have a card here, Rebecca. It's, it's in your deck too as well. Hold on one second, baby. Will you just put it back where it was so we can put this in there while we're doing the live? Okay. Okay. Thank you. 